<laughs> With friends. Here he goes. Mega Man Blue Boy. It's Blue Man. Ha. Huh. These are the hard hitting jokes. Oh, uh, well, actually, on that topic, when I was in, I think, first grade, I used to love drawing comics, and I liked making superheroes. Yeah. And we were in Spanish class, and I, I, I thought it was really cool to, like, mix Spanish words and English words. Mm. So I made a comic about this dude who had, like, a black suit, and I Damn called it. <laughs> I called him Negro Boy. Uh, oh my god. Did you know what Negro No, no, I did I didn't know any of like the racial implications of that. Yeah. And my teacher saw it and got like incredibly <laughs> upset with me. I gotta kill myself. No, I didn't understand what I had done wrong. Yeah, well, well what did she actually tell you? They didn't they didn't tell me why it was wrong. I yeah. when I was in school, uh, I called a kid a spastic, and then <gasps> the, the the vice principal, who was the wife of the actual principal, got really mad at me and she came up to me and she started poking me on the chest. She was like how would you like it if someone called you a spastic? <laughs> so the, yeah, so the issue is not that you called somebody spastic, it's that you <laughs> call like you were mean to somebody. Uh, no, she, she was, uh, it was because I called him a spastic. Apparently that's like a defensive word. It Spaz? is, it's like calling someone a retard. Well, no, that, I mean, that makes sense, but it, the way that you phrase it, it sounds Fuck! like she was just mad at you for calling somebody a name. <laughs> as opposed both. to using the specific name. It was just name. funny because she was like screaming in my face, How would you like it if I called you a spastic? I was just like laughing because it was, was so funny. What was the book I showed you? Uh, going along with your Negro story, uh, there was there was a book <laughs> that we had to read. I think in like second grade. Oh my god! It was called yeah. It was called Stories Julian Tells. And if you look up it's the cover, it's not about of it, me. No, it's not about you. <laughs> there, there's a new cover for it because I think I was right about the old cover, which is why they changed it. Yeah. But uh, the old cover and this. By the way, I'll, I'll start this off with a different story. My, my grandparents were afraid of uh, black people because we lived in Ohio and everybody there is racist. Whoa. I didn't know what that meant as like a five-year-old. So I, I imagine like, is that a bunch of people wearing robes or something? Like they're the black people, they, they practice black magic. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't understand the concept of that. The concept of black people? Yeah, I, well, because I know, I know what black people are. I just well, never, I, I never heard. I the same heard... thought as a kid. Black, what they call black people are brown. Yeah, I, I didn't understand what that exactly meant. I knew what black people were. I just didn't actually have a label for it. I didn't think of it in any way like that. But uh, there was a story... In grade school we read, I was either in first or second grade, and it was called Stories Julian Tells. And uh, Oh! I read that book too! In the cover it's like, wasn't them eating pudding Yeah, it's them eating pudding, <laughs> yeah. but the way they drew the little kid, he has like, <laughs> they they drew his lip exaggerated in a way that he looks yeah. like he has a monkey face. Dude, I remember and, this! Yeah, and I said that. I said, he looks like a monkey, and I got in trouble for it. They said, <laughs> you do not say that! I said, well, I don't get it, that's how they drew it. And surely enough, Ugh. like ten years later, they changed the cover because I think they recognized oh my God. the art on the cover looks like they exaggerated it for the sake of being offensive. <laughs> and, and little stupid me, I didn't. I I'm a dumb little kid. <laughs> That's who's reading the book to begin with. I totally remember that book. All of a sudden, yeah, yeah but it, like lemon pudding. Yeah, but if you look at the new cover now, it's him with like a bunch of cats behind him, and like yeah. there's a cat winking because there's like a, <laughs> they order out of like a cat catalog or something. Yeah. How come you're kicking so much butt? Dude, you're kicking ass. Okay, then then you, then you get kind of shitty right there. Ding Dong's very good at video game. He sucks at video game, dude. They're gonna say it. He is. <laughs> they they <laughs> are. Yeah, they're gonna say it. I I took somebody. No somebody take the controller away. Me, I, me and Ross played a game for the first time the other day, and everyone's like, you guys are shitty at video games. It's who like, gives a it's fuck? Like, it's the first time I'm playing the game. Give me a break. It's also, it's a it's a Let's Play to begin with. Don't it's most, not like yeah. you're, you're fully focused on it. Don't most people watch Let's Plays for the commentary instead of the actual like, game That's the play? problem with Let's Plays. It's like people either get mad at you for not being good at the game if or you're not playing it for the first anything. time, and then people are like, this is boring. He's just focusing on the game too much. It's not supposed to do that. Is this just like a... Are you killing him this way? Yeah, <laughs> I am, but it's not supposed to make that sound. I guess that's something with the X collection that it does that. It's Mr. Uh, Mr. Elephant. He's a mammoth. I love all the Mega Man bosses, though. I saw some, someone made, like, every Mega Man boss out of, like, those little, like, beads and put oh, them on really? the wall, and it was really cool. Cool. Like, they, like, surrounded the... Nice. It must have taken a while. Yeah. Those beads cost about ten dollars, but you can buy uh, my Kirby sprite for fifty. <laughs> Please, I have a hundred of these. Nobody's buying them. I used to make a shit ton of those. Is there a specific order you're going in, or are you just kicking uh, ass and taking names? You can you can kind of free ball it. Play the dragon. The stages affect each other too, so depending on which levels you play first, they can uh, influence the other ones. Oh, Boomer he's a beetle. Kuanger. He looks like a fucking dipshit. Fucking Boomer Kuanger.
Uh, what does Boomer refer to? It's like an African to? country. Boomerang. Puanger. That's not a. That's not like a. Like an element. What? Element. Like Boomer. Boomer. So they're not all like supposed to be themed after. No, like... no, because one is launch octopus. That's not an element either. Wow, you're really blasting through that area. Whoa, it's a turtle. Oh, wow, well, a, a new area to blast through. Another turtle. Okay, so if it's a boomerang, how come none of these things are themed after boomerangs? It's just because you boss, can't theme Julian. a level after a boomerang. <laughs> you can. Have you ever played Pac-Man? <laughs> what if you put the whole level on a boomerang so it's just spinning around yeah. constantly? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'd be fun. <laughs> Oh, you gotta avoid the spikes. Dude, oh, where's the elevator music? <laughs> <laughs> I'll add it in for you, Chris. No, don't! No! This music stinks. What's he sucking up? Uh, your your mom's clitoris into his mouth. My mom lost her clitoris. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You really want me to get into that, dude? Yes. <laughs> it, was a, it was a really sad day. For my whole family. She was on her bike and then her long dangling clitoris got stuck <laughs> in the back wheel. In the gears. <laughs> <laughs> the bike chain ripped it right off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining my mom in this situation. <laughs> what was the noise she made when she when she noticed? Oh. <laughs> ouch! Oh dang it! What's that one sound effect you always use in the best gamers? It was like, ouch! <laughs> I'm still picturing my mom ouch. with like a fucking bike helmet and knee pads. <laughs> oh, that was from a basketball game. Oh, was it? Yeah, that's that's a uh, jam it. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Okay, welcome to Mega Man X, everybody. This is part one of the series. <laughs> we we uh, accidentally played it too much, but here we are. <laughs> Yo, uh, shoot him up his, uh, you know, urethra. <laughs> his, you don't got one. His ghoul is urethra. I, I'm always down for urethral sounding. That's what it's called. If you put a yeah, really right. small ant-sized mic next to a urethra, what do you think it would sound like? Hey! <laughs> be like... <laughs> <laughs> Just is it humming? Yeah, like it's an alien, or like what does that sound? That's throat singing. <laughs> oh, okay. Would you throat sing with your dick? Would you my open dick. it up and make well, it, it go? Have a throat. It have a throat to do. My dick does make this weird, like low whistling sound when I sit on the toilet and pee. What? No, it doesn't. It's because of the toilet reverberating it. Your dick doesn't make any whistling sound, it's, Chris. It's, You're no doing it. You it make up a story weird. in every episode. This is not. This is the realest story I've told so far. <laughs> it goes like. Do you ever? Do you ever uh, meld your balls like clean? <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> my, my dick. I, I that's obviously right. fake. My, my, no, I believe my that. My dick sing songs. You believe that I stood in a freezer for fucking four hours well, until I can you mold my butchers. That's stupid. I molded my Excuse balls me. like clay and my Excuse dick started me. singing. Uh oh. He didn't say butchers. He said butchers. Butchers. That's true. What's a Butchers. butchers. You said it. What it? You don't know what it is when you said it. I said butchers. You said butchers. Yeah, you just said it again. What? What's wrong with butchers? Butchers. You're saying it now. Butchers. What are you saying? You said butchers. You said butchers. It's butchers. Butchers. And he said the old butchers. button. Butchers. Button. Butchers. Butchers. Golly. <laughs> My dad used to work at a butchers in high school. Until. And did he did he meld his balls like clay? <laughs> Tell me, was that the common story everybody told around there? I asked my dad, and he was like, "Oh yeah." I'm what just they, remembering what in the butcher industry. I'm just remembering how you were like, really? <laughs> no, because I get told so much bullshit around here at this <laughs> office. I don't know what's true and what's not true. Well, Chris thought I was genuine when we played Catwoman, and I said, "Is he haunted?" And that was obviously a joke, but you thought I was serious because I always he said fucking it. looked it. <laughs> So he you had thought he was green, He had a green eerie glow around him. <laughs> he did. That was why I jokingly said that. <laughs> it's not my fault they got the The boss wrong. is dead, okay? Let's, let's focus That's on it. this, okay, Chris? Focus on the video game. You guys talk about ball melding too much. <laughs> That's enough nut jokes for one episode. You lowered his skeleton meter. You guys are real nutty. <laughs> what? Oh, you're doing baboon or? I love baboons. Da -da 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 -da. Baboons. Ooh, ooh, spark. Ooh, ooh. Spark Marshall. Spark Mandrill. Oh, Mandrill. I thought his name was fucking Spark Marshall. <laughs> that was stupid. Hello, I'm Spark Sparks Marshall. Spark's what they called him in high school. Boomerang Edmund. This game, this this level's glitching. <laughs> Why's it going black? Because once Cause, you go black, yeah. black <laughs> levels matter. <laughs> Pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon. I was in New York City uh, on the day of the biggest Black Lives Matter protest, just by coincidence. Really? Yeah, and they were they they were like 
they blocked everything off and they had kept walking by me on the sidewalk. And it was mainly just white college girls. Like, like large white college no, girls. Yeah, imagine yelling. that. that About makes sense. that. She was screaming. She was the only one screaming and she was going, Indict! Convict! Send those killer cops to jail! The whole damn system is guilty as hell! <laughs> it I remember that's what rhyme. she was yelling. <laughs> but like no one Did else you was tell yelling. tell her that? She would have liked to have known that it didn't rhyme. Like, it's not rhyming. Just say hail at least. Guilty as hail. Yeah, it doesn't- What if she said heck? Just fudge it. Well, maybe she- <laughs> maybe she was hoping other people would co go in on it, so then they would pronounce it that way. It was just really cringy, because no one else that, was that's chanting. That's cultural appropriation, then, if you don't pronounce it the right way. That's true. Not that they probably I, would say hail, wouldn't they? Yeah. I think people would listen to a chant that was like- Oh, hey, I like this down guy. down and simple. This is Bubble Boy from his hit movie. This sucks! This is the best this character. This sucks! Maybe Oops. just don't shoot black people. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Don't shoot black people! That's more catchy. <laughs> and everyone can remember It's it. more to the point, too. Yeah, it was more like, Don't shoot the blacks! <laughs> Don't shoot the blacks! And it, it's giving the message perfectly. We want a pitcher, not a belly incher. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the most confusing sight. Seeing like a million black people stomping in the street singing that. <laughs> the cops in their, like, protective gear. <laughs> <laughs> that would cause anarchy. <laughs> we want a picture! <laughs> <laughs> this is the most disliked episode so far. <laughs> How dare you make light? An ostrich. It's not an ostrich. Not anymore, because you killed it. Oh. You gotta kill it real good. Oh, you can change weapons. We need a finger. Not a finger. <laughs> <laughs> that just reminded me of that classic old meme, Pingus. Oh my god. That's pretty Pingus. Good. When Dr. Robotnik look in the camera and he Pingus. scream Pingus. <laughs> Nothing make my belly laugh. That's Bubble Luigi to you, Mario. This episode's ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw it all out. <laughs> when Luigi look to the That's sky true, and he scream, about, lots we've been of talking spaghetti. about <laughs> racial uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, we're making all the, we're saying all this race stuff, and the moment and, we make it like memes. a Mama Where's Luigi the funny joke? Harambe joke? It was a it was a monkey. That's true. You're combining <laughs> both of them. <laughs>